Hey everybody, welcome back. Dead edition. Season two. Season two. Russell Johnson. Ah, dead edition. Dead edition. Dave Callahan. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, you know, we had to gather ourselves after the Walking Dead finale, so we had to take a week off. Yeah. Uh, was... As a fan, you don't want to take a week off. That's great, but um, we had to take a week off. I'm still stewing about that. Yeah. <laughs> so we are here, uh, season two, talking now about the season two. Uh, premiere and the second episode so, of Fear of the Walking Dead. Uh, for those of you coming back, thanks for joining us. So we're going to dive right in to Fear of the Walking Dead. Season premiere was last week. Russ, what would you think about it? Um, I thought it was good. Um, I think it was better than the season premiere of season one. Uh, I, I, I did like... I found it very interesting in the very beginning of the episode that we see basically military bombers going in and destroying everything, uh, then trying to get on the boat, uh, fighting off zombies. I do feel like Nick's character has gotten pretty badass. Mm -hmm. um, and again, they make the f I think they make the fatal mistake, well not fatal for, the t for them, necessarily, but uh, Alicia talking on, the f talking on the walkie or the CB with... Yeah. You know, a well-meaning young man on a boat with his sister-in-law. His sister-in-law, I think it was the only two people left on the boat or whatever. Um, and then he did get out. Where are you? He's trying to get information from her. And then we get what we got at the end there um, when they came upon wreckage of a ship. Yeah. And all those zombies in the water. And I also found it interesting, too, the, their choices of, you know, seeing a basically a boat full of, a raft full of people that need help. And they're like, well, see ya. Later. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. Can't hold you. <laughs> yeah, it, and that was surprising a little bit because in this, at this point in this world, you don't know the bad people yet, the right. bad survivors. You know what I mean? Like the governor or me oh, or yeah. something like that. You don't know. You you still kind of, I think you're still in that mode of everybody's got to get work, get through this together. Sure, you know? So sure, it was sure. a little surprising. Yeah. That's why the only thing I can think of <clears> is, which I think Daniel's figuring out, Strand's got a motive. You know, there's something there that he's not saying, mm -hmm. and you know, we see him later on the, uh, I think in the second episode on the phone or whatever. So it's like there's something going on there that's the reason why they're not stopping and, and helping, or else he knows more than what he's letting on to. I don't know, but um, but just overall, what do you, how do you feel about what it seems like this season is happening on the water? It's interesting that yeah. that that you're not safe on the water. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, I think from the first episode, not only from zombies who can just walk up on shore or whatever, um, but from people who are already in that mode of, we're going to take what you have type of thing. Yeah. Um, people who have to kill other people to take their stuff, uh, to, to survive on their own, to be, you know, ruthless. And so they're still have, they're still f f having all these things they have to worry about. People who are alive and then zombies as well. But, mm -hmm. um... I thought it was interesting. I think it's interesting they have a you know, they can get a little reprieve now and then just being on the water because they were like you know we're going out to San Diego, trying still trying to figure things out. Um, but you know, it's, we'll talk about it in the the next uh, episode, but season you know episode two, you know Nick was talking about just how things have changed and the new reality and yeah. we're all we're all facing. So um, I thought it was interesting. What did you think about? Being on the being on that big ten million dollar boat. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'll be surprised, obviously, if we're on this thing for the whole season. Oh yeah, um, I don't see that happening. Uh, yeah, hopefully, it's only a few more episodes, maybe, or you know, that we figure out where we're going. I mean, there's there's obviously going to be conflict coming with whoever she was talking to on the on the walkie. Um, but you know, yeah, I, I I found it interesting when they, well, yeah, like you said, when they passed up the boat, it's like. Okay, so they're not stopping for anybody, so we're going to stick with the same people. And obviously, they may have enough supplies for them for a little while, but then at some point, you're going to run out of supplies. Right, exactly. And, yeah, you can't, uh, and all that yeah. water, you mm -hmm. can't drink it. So right, you got to yep. go get something. So Exactly. Um, so wherever they're heading to, you know, but there is that thing, I think, on Talking Dead, he, you know, Chris Harwood said, is like, you know, you know, everybody's complaining, like, well, we we'll don't just get on a boat and head to an island. You're, all, you're Right. Well, they head to an island in the second episode, and it's not uh, all that safe. So, um, no, I, th I think it can be worse out on the out on the ocean and out on the. I mean, it's just you just 
there's nowhere to go. I mean, right, you know, exactly. How do you, you know, where do you go? Where, you got to go somewhere. You right. can't just float around all, all the rest of your life. So, yeah. And um, they, they proved that by, you know, all these, you know, all these coast, coastal cities and stuff are being destroyed yeah. and the military is just kind of bombing everything. So we still have to figure out what if you know what's down in San Diego, where they can go. Yeah, they got to go somewhere. They, they can't just can't just float around. Right. With that. It, you need supplies. You need just you know that's that's just the way it goes. So, um, and where do you go when at this point anyway? It looks like the, I mean cities are still burning. Yeah, it's not even like they're no. They got time to even figure out what's what's gone and what's still there. It's just like everything's just. It's chaos still. And I'm and I'm and I, if I remember correctly, we saw that in The Walking Dead, didn't they? Didn't they show uh, in Shane and flashbacks? They showed bombing Atlanta. So yeah, right. Mm -hmm. They they I pretty much so. napalm mm -hmm. Atlanta too. So you know how? So we'll jump into season two a little bit. How the park ranger or whatever when they finally get to Catalina Island there, um, and he explains all the bombings that have happened that he only knows of a certain point in the Midwest. But we know from The Walking Dead, right? every major city was pretty much, at this yeah. point, destroyed. Yeah. So um, so what did you think uh, the second episode, getting into that family? Second episode, it, I actually had to watch that twice, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, I was a little distracted when I first watched it, but I, kept, I paid attention, but I felt like initially it was a lot of just Again, just talking and new reality of the world and what do we do and how we're going to survive and just that kind of going on. But going back and watching it, you know, a second time and kind of paying attention to it really more closely, um, it did feel more like, um, again, it just shows the eccentricities and the and just the different kind of people who are, who are survivors at this point and what their ultimate goal is. Because we've never seen like this before because... You know, in The Walking Dead, it's 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 down the road. People, are, everyone's trying to survive right. at this point. Uh, the yeah, family, we're struggling to survive, you know, yeah. to to start off the episode and be and say, you know, well, San Diego's gone. That's wiped out. Can't go there. Well, what, you know, so where do we go now? And they and they go to Catalina Island, um, a resort. And then I thought it was interesting how they started off the episode with uh, walkers coming out of the water, yes. walking up, and those little kids are playing, doo -doo 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 -doo, just doing their own little thing. And all of a sudden, you know, they hit that a fence. That was pretty cool. You know that, that was, was. Cool. so that they they that, that did that pretty well. There's a fence there. Um, I like how the episode started and getting more into the mind of this family, and over the opposition between the husband and the wife mm -hmm. and the family, and then the older son. That seemed uh, that's a unique dynamic. And but I, I'm getting to the point now. Like I say, Nick has gotten. And Nick has always been a good character. It was always, it was kind of weird, you know, the first episode we saw him and stuff like that. He's definitely become more of a strong character. I mean, I he's, he he fights, he goes, it helps people, he does whatever he has to do. He seems like a guy who's a go getter, you know. Um, uh, still looks for pills, though. But. Still looks for pills, <laughs> but um, but I thought, but you know, he again, he he said, I understand. He told Nick or Travis that uh, you know, I understand. Troubled youth. I am troubled youth, you know, type of thing. And But I'm going through this whole thing, and this happened in the first episode as well, with Nick and the burying of his mother, or Chris and burying of his mother, and Travis trying to sit there and, you know, appeal to, you know, this is what we had to do, yeah. you know, type of thing. And he's still pissed off that his dad shot his mom, he throws her off the boat, just wants to get rid of it. And now he's just being that angry punk kid who mm -hmm. has no direction, is just mad at everybody, and, and it's just... Like even when uh, the older son from takes him down to the fence line to say, "Look, every day we have to come out of here and take out the few that have actually." Because there's a one thing I didn't ke pick up on the first time I watched it was that whole resort that's there that's oh, across yeah. the bay. That's what it, that's right, Catalina, right? So, yeah. the, so the resort's across the bay, and there and the, all, that all is, he's a couple hundred people there at least, oh, at least that, that were stranded there. So they're all dead, and they're all the ones coming across the bay, and they're like, "We're trying to just fend them off and not make a lot of." A lot of noise because yeah. they know we're here. We're, we're screwed. Yeah. Um, but you know when Chris is down there and Travis comes down to stop him and he's banging on the fence to get the one walker over and you know Travis is like no 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 and he just stabs him and walks by his dad is like see done. That's why I'm just like God. Why do we have to have that guy? Why is there always that kid yeah. in the show? You know. But I think this goes to prove, especially in The Walking Dead, um, across the board, 
anyone else you come across, it could have been people on that, that raft they passed up, could have been the guys they're talking to on the CB, there's always somebody that's so stupid that's going to get you killed. Yeah. Um, so, but I did think, I liked the episode better than what I had talked to you yesterday about. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> What'd you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I liked it. I thought the, uh, I thought it got better because I, again, just like on The Walking Dead, you're, you're, you have to, you have to keep satisfying fans mm -hmm. with different types of zombies. You know, you, right. oh, you yeah. can't you can't do the same guy every time. It's got to be the the well zombie. Mm -hmm. It's got to be the guy in, in the fire zombies. You yeah. know, there's different types. Well, now there's the washed up zombie, right? Yeah, exactly. The on the beach He's just washed up on the beach. Yeah, <laughs> and, and which is interesting, you know, because if Never you think really about, about it, it, yeah, you think about it. That's got to be happening all over the world. Exactly. You know, every beach, there's got to be somebody out in the ocean that's dying or somebody. Or even think about the people that... Were on the beach and got Yeah, they got, got wiped killed. out. Or all those people, when they left L.A., mm -hmm. those zombies are walking after them, probably falling in the water and getting dragged mm -hmm. out. Although, it was a little, a little weird that they didn't immediately, like in The Walking Dead, they didn't immediately turn around and start going towards a fire. Because they, they get attracted to light, right, apparently, right? right? right. So, mm -hmm. um, but anyway... You know, there, there's a different way, and I liked seeing the little girl zombie. To be honest, yeah, oh and yeah, that yeah, whole thing yeah. was freaky, weird, you know, and crazy, and how the, the he was going to kill his family and all that stuff. But you know, there's, I just hope there's one thing that I do like the show, and there's one thing that I hope they don't do a lot of the next few episodes is like I don't, I don't feel like we need, I, I don't, know, I, I feel like we know too much. We know too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and we suffer from that. Yeah. There's no doubt about and, that. And they're, the characters are trying to find out, but mm -hmm. it's like, you know, God, we know all this stuff. You exactly. Know? So at what point do we, do they stop asking, you know, and figuring out information and just try to survive and find a place, hunker down? You know, I feel like this, this series is more about surviving the zombies than it is and the dead than it is surviving a bad guy like Negan or the governor, you know what I mean? Because right. that's what The Walking Dead is about. Right. This needs to be truly, I think, about the dead and uh, how they fight off the dead and how they find a place to try to make a living out of, you know? And that's what I hope they get to instead of, you know, finding out, oh, well, this is burnt down, this is burnt down, we can't go here, we can't go there. And I mean, right. we kind of know all that already. Now In one one thing we that is kind of is still the big mystery is just, is Victor Strand. Correct. But we still don't we you know we started off with him from from season one where we're, he's a bad guy he has no compassion for people except for Nick for whatever reason um, you know then he ends up helping everyone and then he's got a way out you feel like, hey he's a pretty good guy well. Season two, they they they've well even a little bit in season or episode one and even more so in episode two was Daniel. Mm -hmm. You know, Madison's like he's hiding something, something's going on. Daniel's like I've been watching him, and Daniel is like constantly sneaking around. Not, sneaking, he's right on top. Of strange stands, sits there with him and uh -huh. talks to him, tries to get in his head, figure out what's going on. Yeah. Um. And so I figured too. I was like, you know, yeah, maybe he's got something going on. But to see. The scene where he actually is talking to someone on, like a satellite phone, or whatever it was, and saying, "Yeah, you're gonna be there," type of thing. Yes, everything's going according to plan, or everything's in place, or whatever. So, what do you think his bigger plan could be? Because he knows San Diego. Because he was gonna go to San Diego, yeah. it was wiped out. I, you know, the border's closed. So how do you how do you get into Mexico? Yeah, I I, I really am. Like, yeah, who who was he talking to on the phone? I just don't. Uh... I don't know. I, I uh, yeah, I, I really, I really don't know. And I think that's what's really good about the show is I don't know. Or I don't even have a. I mean, is it? Does he know something about it, like medically, or you know, is he somehow military, or? And I don't know. I, I um. I really don't. I, I know he was going to San Diego for a reason, right? So possibly is that. What, I mean, I think uh, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, he was. I think he. I just, I, I'm, I'm completely. He's in, he's a mystery. I, I, he's he, a mystery. I feel like the first two episodes, he's been kind of in the background. You know, he comes down to say, "Oh, we're not doing this," or what, "What's happening?" And you see him in these brief little moments, and you know, piloting the ship and everything else. But you know, we have. I don't think we've got enough of him. We you don't. know, as far as like what's going on. Ophelia, all we know about her is that she takes her antibiotics. 
Yeah. Just kick her off. She's, 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 she's dead. Right she's now, dead. Yeah. She's, she's dead. dead. <laughs> yeah. But I, I mean, I feel like I, I like Travis a little better now. Um, Travis seems to be more. Yeah. You know, f again, the first season he was very, oh, we got to help everybody. We have to do this. And by episode one of season two, he's like, nope, see you later. Yeah. You know, we don't have the supplies. We can't trust you. We can't do this. He's kind of falling right into that. You know, we, f we figured this from the season finale of. Season one, once he shot his, kill, had to kill his wife, that that was going to change everything for him. Totally, um, and it has. I mean, he's still not a, like a badass or anything, but he's he's a much he's a bit. I, I didn't like him all that much the first season either. I'm like, God, just get over it, dude. Yeah. But he seems like a better character. Um, but it really seems to be focused on, you know, Nick and Madison and uh, Travis and their family mm -hmm. uh, more so. Everybody else to come see are supporting characters at this point. I agree. I agree. Well. Uh so where so, I think you're, you know obviously we're gonna keep keep going in the show. But um, the one question I wanted to throw at you right now is: Is there any point because this just got renewed for an season three already? Yeah, I did. Um, I, so we got I was a little surprised by that. Yeah, so we got fifteen <laughs> episodes. I think this season, and of course, obviously next season, probably fifteen or sixteen. But um, do you, in your opinion, do you think ever at ever time at any time do we see? Any characters from The Walking Dead? Do we do they cross this over at all ever? Um, based Cause on because I, I thought there were all, there was rumors that somehow it would catch up. I think based but, on uh, what I've you know, I'm only I'm only putting stock into this because of what we've seen on other shows. Um, you know, some of the. CW shows were like, are they going to cross over into a CBS show? I'm like, no, that never happened. They, they said that was never going to happen. Well, it did, um, just because fans wanted it. So yeah. I think if fans want it enough and they still tune into Fear the Walking Dead, that they, who knows, you know, one one of the, the things that might be cool about this show is if after one season they jump ahead like two years. Yeah. You know, and all of a sudden, boom, they're in the middle of Atlanta or something, or, who know, or somewhere in that general vicinity. Um, it would be an interesting take. It's new characters that if we, you know, if we get enough of them that we like um, and care about, like we do with Rick and that group, yeah. and his group, you know, I, I don't see why you wouldn't try sure. to do something like that. Right. You know, you kill one, kill somebody off on somebody else's show. That'd be kind of interesting. Or to see the origin of some of these other sh other guys. You know, like for example, if they got to the mainland and went as far as Texas, that's where Abraham and Eugene right. and Rosita were. Right. So yeah. it's like. When you know crossing into them before they actually went east. Yeah. You know I don't know. Yeah, and I, I, say, I, I like it possible. more. I like it more simply because I've seen it done. It seems to be a bigger thing now, especially like on CW. They're crossing yeah. over their characters. It's bigger universes on on TV, so why not? Yeah. You know. I think you, I think eventually you got to, but I don't know. Maybe I'd be up for it. I'd be up for it. All right, so uh, that's the first two episodes. A fear of the Walking Dead. We'll uh, hit back up uh, at you next week after season or episode three, which is uh, Ouroboros. Uh, yeah, I think. Okay, Ouroboros. We'll we'll say it's that. Um, Chad thinks he's thinking it's Ouroboros, but it's not that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, keep watching this YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash21network. Check out our other shows on this network. Follow him at Director421. Right, Decoding him21. Yep. He's Russ. He's Dave. Check you out next week, guys. All Thanks right. for watching. Later.